Hey, what's up everyone? Saints fan back again with another GTA 5 video and today I'm in single player because I want to show you guys a few mods that change the way the world look and the reason I want to show you guys that is because I want to answer the question, you know, how would the world like how would Los Santos sort of change if we were to ever get a zombie or an alien survival DLC? And that obviously is coming from the alien Easter egg that Rockstar put into the game in the gun running DLC. Now, just because they put that one little mission doesn't mean we're going to get some gigantic alien or zombie, you know, survival style DLC. However, it is something that I, I think a decent amount of the community wants. And it's something that I've seen since pretty much the game first came out. I mean, Undead Nightmare was basically a zombie DLC for Red Dead Redemption, and a ton of people loved it. Like, that was probably one of the best DLCs Rockstar have ever made. So it's not like it's completely out of the realm of possibilities that Rockstar do something like this. But what I want to do, because I've talked about this topic before, and I've talked about, like, the gameplay and how it would work. What I want to do is show you guys how the world would change. Now, I actually have the Halloween weather on because I feel like this is kind of perfect for some sort of DLC like that. And I also took off all the NPCs and all of the cars. So the city is practically dead. Now, you know, in a in an alien or zombie DLC, you could have if it was aliens, you'd have like their spaceships just hovering up in the air. Uh, maybe you could have the aliens walking around that are just super hostile. If there were zombies, then you'd have the zombies going around but we're gonna head over i believe it's over here towards the subway station and this is just a little glimpse of what could happen because if they were to make a game mode like that they would have to make it i guess separate from gt online so you know it doesn't conflict with the people who just want to play regular old gt online so it would be a totally new game mode or totally totally new lobby and you could have stuff like this now the only sort of issue that may uh i guess come up is all of these props like you i don't know if you can have if rockstar could have all these sort of like broken down props around the entire map i i don't know if that's like too much or whatever i figure though if you're turning off all the cars and npcs maybe you have enough resources to do that or enough like hardware power to do that because then it's not rendering in all the npcs and all the cars that are driving around but anyway so this is this is from a zombie apocalypse mod and i'll leave both mods in the description but i feel like the same would work for an alien survival dlc and basically it's just like a bunch of uh, a bunch of like blown up and broken flipped over trucks to get some dead people because obviously you know people are gonna die right you got a tree over here looks like that's fallen over and uh yeah there's a bunch of stuff however we have the safe zone which is up here or well it's actually down below but this is the the start of it as we're sort of just sliding that dead body around so this safe zone and, and in a dlc like i was just mentioning I, there could be multiple safe zones around the map and maybe what rockstar could do because the one big problem and this shouldn't be a problem but it is a freaking problem for rockstar if they were to do this, then how would they sell shark cards? You know, how how would they get people to buy stuff? And I think it'd actually be like, look, it'd be totally scummy and a lot of people wouldn't like it. Like a lot of the consumers wouldn't like it, but you gotta sort of give them something if, if we're gonna be getting a DLC like this. What they could do is you basically start out as a new character in this, this game mode or whatever. And that could, like, people could double up. They could buy shark cards for regular GT Online, and then they could buy shark cards for for this. And uh, maybe they, like, we have this thing down here. I know that's a horrible vehicle in regular GT Online, but maybe in the zombie or alien DLC GT Online, it's really good. And it costs, you know, a bunch of dollars. You know, it costs a lot of money. And I don't know how we make money in this, you know, theoretical DLC, but maybe if you don't want to do all that stuff, you uh, you just buy it with a shark card. So, I don't know. There, There's ways I, th I feel like Rockstar could could make this stuff happen if they wanted to. Anyway, getting back to the mod or the, the world because that's what we want to talk about today. So, up there you saw, you know, just a pretty basic entrance, I guess. Maybe if it was a zombie DLC and all that, it'd be a little bit more guarded. Wouldn't just have a giant opening there. But let's head down here. Now, I have not actually seen any of this stuff. So, we're going to sort of go in together. But this is kind of cool. So it looks like we got some automated rifles, I guess. So if people come down here, boom, 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 they're dead. We got some guards. So I guess really this is this is the front line. Up there is just kind of 
what it looks like you know this is this is where if anyone's coming down they're gonna they're gonna have a bad time and i think using the subway system is actually really cool like if this were to happen because that's like realistically where many people would go we have a guy freaking grilling over here we got a bunch of props it looks like from like the the stores the gas stations and stuff like that so maybe you know this is where you have to go to buy food if if they wanted to do that down here it looks like what do we have just some more we had a little nurse there so maybe this is where if you're losing health you can talk to her and uh you know she can heal you to a hundred percent and then down here or over here we have i guess a little break around or break break room whatever with the beds i don't know why that lady's standing on the beds but there's beds so this is just a little like glimpse i guess of what a a survivor zone could look like maybe there's multiple of these spread around the map and maybe you know there could even be properties or something i don't really know how that could work exactly like how a property could work in a zombie in a survival style dlc i don't know if this is actually it i'm gonna go down here i think this might be it so yeah what they actually did here is that like the continuation of the subway obviously goes over here but they have the wall to, to make sure nobody comes up behind them and you know maybe that opens up and maybe there's a, a back door entrance and this is how you can you know travel the city through the the tunnels so this is the first little one but the the next one is the main one i want to show now, I, I guess even it will could be some sort of a or somewhat of a property for for that so let's go ahead and check it out okay so we're over here and as you see franklin just texted me was that you creeping around my crib uh to an extent yes there, i mean there's a lot of things creeping around your crib but this could potentially be one of the properties you could buy, you know, in the zombie or in, I'm just going to call it a survival DLC, whether it's zombies or aliens, it's a survival DLC basically at heart. So maybe this is a property you could buy. There are a few houses around the map that have actual interiors and it really doesn't even matter if there's an actual interior because they could just do like they do with the apartments. Maybe, maybe that's like the super safe place that you go but you know you can't stay in there too long or you'll eventually die or something i don't know like whatever we're not gonna again i, I keep going too deep into the freaking gameplay because ex it excites me too much man like that stuff sounds really awesome so anyway this is let's say property number one let's say this one's like the most expensive too because it's got all kind of crazy shit so we have uh you know some guards guards on duty here some merry weather looks like and uh apparently a plane crashed right in front of us so that's the outside and then we have the apc tank with with the uh pretty decent little fence entrance and then in here we have the cocaine apparently all right nice i'm glad they're still dealing drugs after the freaking apocalypse has happened and we got some more tvs maybe the security cams right here so maybe you can there's security cams like there are in bunkers and stuff around the map and then if we head inside that's like the main part i don't actually know if anything can we not head inside okay so we're now inside and we have a few people in here some cops some other uh people that i guess have survived and are just hanging out and this is this is pretty guarded i mean we have in addition to the windows we have the gates to stop people from breaking in let's see over here in the kitchen nothing i don't think has changed let's see if we can go downstairs and see if anything is changed down here so down here we apparently now have a giant crate. Maybe this is where your weapons are stored, you know, and you have some more gasoline for cars because gasoline. Well, I don't know. I, I would say gasoline becomes scarce or something and you need it, but that that'd probably be too realistic. So anyway, here we have some more guns. And then on the bed, obviously, we had a bunch of bunch of guns and stuff. I think that's actually it for inside because I don't think anything really goes that way. Now, if we go outside, I don't actually remember how we get outside. I guess we'll just go through the window or through the wall. And here's outside. So, again, a bunch of uh, people, I guess, just hanging around here. This would be kind of cool, though. Like, if you, if your property, like, had other sort of survivors, like, maybe, maybe that's your save. Maybe that's, like, a gameplay uh, item or something. Like, you have to go out and save people, and they come back to your place. That'd be pretty cool. And they protect you. So, we have, uh, you know, some donuts and stuff. And this is kind of, uh, you know... A pretty decent I guess fortified base maybe that's something you can add with like customization different fortification options I like the use of the gun running stuff with the insurgent the you know anti-air and then we have the crane which is kind of cool I like this so like if they do like if the uh, the people zombies aliens overrun your base you go up on the crane 
and you have a nice little platform up here to sort of defend yourself and then also up here on the roof so you have the helipad which obviously that's something you're going to need if you're flying around or if you want to if you want to get around that's something that they could make you buy again which would suck again but you know hey it's it's i'd, I'd rather a freaking zombie or alien dlc with all this cool stuff so that's the roof and there's obviously a bunch of people guarding it with a bunch of fences and stuff so yeah that is, uh, these two little examples are how GTA Online, I feel like, could change, or not, not GTA Online, but how Los Santos could change. Like, imagine seeing this, but at multiple different mansions, or at multiple different places throughout the city. And imagine seeing what we saw down there in the subway throughout multiple places in the city and throughout the map. Like, maybe there could be one up here by the, by the tunnel, or there's one up here by the tunnel that goes through Mount Chiliad, you know? There's, there's some really cool ideas and some really cool things Rockstar could do if they wanted to. Now, granted, will they? Probably not. But it's awesome to imagine, to believe. I just, I think it'd be so cool to see a Los Santos sort of in ruins with, with a bunch of, like, survival aspects, you know, around it. So, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Would you like this sort of idea? Do you not like this idea? Would you like to see... Los Santos in an apocalyptic sort of world or do you just like it the way it is now that is it though so thank you all for watching please drop the video like if you did enjoy subscribe for more awesome GTA content and as always I'll see you guys in the next one although I will say the Halloween DLC does look awesome as a weather like could you imagine it goes through this like this is what it looks like at nighttime and then you have like aliens or something and then you know through the day it gets, it gets somewhat normal but you know going back and then oh my god freaking like dark and that'd be that'd be pretty creepy but yeah anyway thank you all i'll see you guys in the next one